We are back with Dr. Kathleen. If you guys have been following each week, we have been dropping videos here, not only that talk about food and weight loss and hormones, but also just general topics so that you guys are fully educated and fully know everything that's going on out there and how you can work with Kathleen or myself. So today we have decided to do the top four things you can do, you can implement, you can execute right now to very quickly slim down for summer. Dr. Kathleen, are you ready? Yes, I am. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna go first. So the number one thing, and this will not be a surprise, but if you want to lean down for summer, listen to me really closely. Focus on the food. So many of you guys are under eating, thinking that the less food I eat means the more weight I will lose, that it's completely backwards. That is old science, it's bad. If you are wanting to lean down pretty quickly, you've got to focus on eating real food and actually eating things like prioritizing lean protein. Come on, guys, you've got to get that meat in there first. Vegetarians, you've got to focus on those lean proteins that are also included with complex carbs like the beans, the lentils, the hummus, all those things. But focus on actually eating. Take the processed crap out of your house for 30 days. If you're rolling your eyes at me already thinking 30 days, I can't do this. Give me two weeks. Take the processed crap out and really just focus on single ingredient foods for the next two weeks to 30 days. Think about, we always talk about the outside of the, um, the grocery store. Just really think about single ingredient foods. Dr. Kathleen says this the best. If it doesn't have a nutrition, if it has a nutrition label on it, you shouldn't be eating it, right? Think about the meats, the fruits, the vegetables. They don't have a nutrition label on it. Eat those. So number one, to slim down fast, you have to be putting real food, single ingredient foods, whole foods in your mouth. Give me two weeks to 30 days and you will feel amazing already. All right, Dr. Kathleen, I know you have a really interesting one. You and I were talking about how and why people overeat in restaurants. Tell me about that. Yes. Well, if you go to a restaurant of course, there's these nice music playing in the background. Well, it's playing with our mind because we become not mindful of what we're doing, which is eating. So I think what we need to do is just change those little eating habits a little bit at home when you're sitting down to have a meal, dinner, lunch, breakfast, turn everything off, turn that TV off and just be mindful of the food that's in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. It was fascinating because, you know, we've always heard, don't eat in front of the TV. You're absolutely right. You're just kind of sitting there mindlessly watching, mindlessly eating, and you're not really aware, like, do I really need more food? You've probably hit the limit of the food that you actually need. Um, but I found it very fascinating that you brought up restaurants and the music does yeah. the same thing. So fascinating. And quite often, there's lots of TVs at the restaurants that we go to. As yeah, well. so, lots of TV, you know, right? the sports bar, you know, right. TV's on, you're eating, or you're eating in front of TV, watching Netflix at night, mm -hmm. binge eating, you right. know, just cut that out. Bad. You know, what's also interesting, I would actually challenge anyone who's listening to this to not eat out for the next two weeks, because when you do eat out, you get larger portions you get sauces, sugars, spices, salt that your body doesn't need. So I'm going to add a little, you know, point two letter A, don't eat out for the next two weeks. Like you will literally feel so much better because you're eating better foods that don't have sugar and really like sugar laden sauces and that salt as well. All right. So my number two, just slim down pretty quick for the summer is drink, don't drink. What am I talking about? Right. <laughs> So mm -hmm. I say this, give me two weeks to 30 days of drinking water only and do not drink alcohol. So drink the water, don't drink the alcohol. And here's why I say that. Even if you are drinking a more clean version of something like a margarita or, you know, perhaps you have seltzer water or soda water with a little splash of cranberry and vodka, what people don't realize is that the liver stops metabolizing the food that they eat once you put that, even the cleaner alcohol in your mouth to deal with the poison you've just put in. So beyond the fact that you might not really care about your liver, I will tell you this, the longer you stay with, with no drinks, the more lean, the more 
water weight or inflammation you will lose. And literally within two to three weeks, you will feel tighter on your skin, meaning you feel like less jiggle. So if you're dealing with a midsection that just seems to jiggle all the time, stay away from the alcohol. Literally the water, the subcutaneous water right underneath the skin will flow out of you and your skin and everything else will just feel tighter. Any thoughts on that doc? Oh, absolutely. Well, disclaimer here, I have a genetic defect, which is a great thing because I cannot process alcohol at all. So whatever I drink, if I drink, it'll get right into my skin and I'll break out into hives, like really bad hives. But going back to the liver, the liver processes every single thing, every single food you eat, every single supplement you take, every single medication you put in your mouth. And when it comes to alcohol, it has to go through your liver. So at least my body's smart enough because of the mutation to say, hey, this is bad for you. You know, get it out of the body. So what does it do? It pushes onto the skin. So if you really take alcohol to the next level, when you think about it, what it does is that it competes with the receptor cells of your hormones. So your thyroid hormones needs to be converted in your gut and in your liver. So if your liver is toxic, if your liver is overloaded with alcohol and processed food and all that junk, it's not going to absorb. So all the good foods you try to feed your body, it's just like hanging on to it and not be able to let it go. And so it hangs on to that fat cells. And that's why we call it a beer belly or a beer gut or a belly fat. Yeah, it's tough, but I will definitely say the longer you go alcohol free. What is just so amazing to me is how much inflammation you will very quickly lose from your face, from your hands, from again, your belly. Even if you are a fairly lean person, I always, the, the longer I extend periods of not having alcohol, I'm like, wow, my, my stomach is just getting, you know, leaner and leaner and leaner. And the skin just feels tighter, less full, less jiggly, which I love that feeling. All right. I think we're on number four, which is all you, Dr. Kathleen, and this is very fascinating. You have some supplemental shots that people can use to help them lose weight. So tell us about that. Well, one of my favorite things is called the lipoamino shots, or we can call it the skinny shots or the fat burners, what a lot of people known for. Um, what it does is that it's complete with B12 and B complexes that helps your body able to absorb the, the micronutrients that it needs. So these shots work really effectively because it gives you a little bit of the energy that your body needs, but it fuels your thyroid and fuels your metabolism. I just love the lipo amino shots because the feedback is like, oh my gosh, I have my energy. And it's not like, um, it's not like a caffeine high where it spikes up and then it goes right down. What it does is that it's, it's sustainable throughout the day. So that's what we kind of implement into our, um, our weight loss program or our everyday wellness program where I, you know, myself and my staff, we all take our lipo amino shots. So then we're able to have that um, amino acids, which are building blocks of protein that allows to sustain our, um, our protein contents to fuel our mind at our body and our muscle mass. So is that something that you take daily? Um, no, I usually tell the patient to do it. Um, it's a sub Q injection. That means it's this very, very fine insulin needle that you're able to administer yourself at home. And you take it on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And it's just something that I would say one of the maintenance things that we're able to do, or you can implement it into any kind of program where it'll really spike up your metabolism a little bit, give it a little, you know, kickstart, push it a little bit. Now, why is the shot better? Cause I'm probably guessing people are thinking, Ooh, why do I have to do a shot versus is there a pill form of this? So talk uh -huh. to us about that. Yes. Well, there's different ways. Delivery system is everything. If somebody that's struggling with weight, if you're one of those people or that are really struggling with weight, sometimes your body's not able to absorb so when I say delivery system, when you're able to inject yourself 
subcutaneously, it gets right into your bloodstream and really helped your body a little bit. If it was like somebody that's um, trying to maintain and stuff like that, I was like, okay, we're able to implement um, where we can have like um, a, a B complex capsule that you're able to take orally. So it really depends what level you're at. And that's why I think it's important that we um, use what we call personalized you know, medicine, where we can figure out what fits you, what is best for you, and we can create a plan around what you want and what your goals are. So it's more personalized. I love that. And, you know, we've all seen those fat burners or metabolic spikers, you know, all these pills at various shops or supplement stores, but it really goes down to how much is your body, if you do take a pill, how much is your body absorbing from that? Because I think people just assume, oh, I put this pill in my mouth, I'm digesting it, it's going to work its magic at 100%. When in reality, it probably won't. Like, honestly, you are getting much less from a pill than if you're able to take, and I've done these shots before, I mean, the needle is tiny. Um, so how, tell us how people can get in touch with you, even if they don't live in Tampa or Florida. I know that this is something that you can offer across state lines. Is that correct? Um, yes. Again, it really depends on the state and the laws and regulation of each state. And um, one thing about what I do is that I have a network of physicians and a network of um, companies and doctors that I work with that are on the same mindset. Because not and you probably know that not all doctors are open-minded and not because they didn't want to be because they don't know too much about, oh my gosh, there's an alternative way for treating their patients or taking care of weight loss because these lipoamino shots are specifically designed to really help your metabolism, especially when we're dealing with weight loss because Perfect. weight loss and hormones, they go hand in hand. Yeah. And I think that's what's scary is that people, everyone needs to realize that when it comes to weight loss, again, thyroid, adrenal glands, hormones, mitochondria, and people like at that point, you know, most people's heads are spinning around backwards because they're thinking, my doctor never talks about that. At most, your doctor will probably just talk about your thyroid. Um, so yes, absolutely all tied together. Thank you so much, Dr. Kathleen. So the four steps are Eat, actually eat, you guys. Less food doesn't mean more weight loss. Drink, don't drink. Drink the water, don't drink the alcohol. Give me two weeks to 30 days with that. You will feel amazing. Skip eating out. And if you do that, also be like leery of eating in front of the TV or with music, all those things. Be mindful, right? And then these amazing lipo amino shots, so easy to do. Dr. Kathleen, thanks for helping us out today. Guys, Dr. Kathleen's um, contact information is above. Really reach out to her. Um, super incredible doctor, just full of knowledge and really will treat you as the whole, just as we do with our food plans. Thanks, Dr. Kathleen. You're welcome.